Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favorite and I definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing beautiful extended family, thank you so much for opening up your hearts and your minds to a different perspective, a different understanding, to know that you are not alone, you are not going crazy, and you're not the only one going through this. We are all experiencing things with just different situations. And so with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you've been watching my videos for a while and have not already, what are you waiting for? Like and subscribe, even hit that notification bell at the bottom. So you know when I'm about to upload my next video. Or even if you feel like you're comfortable enough, go ahead and drop me a line or two. I love to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Or even if it's about the positive you know feedback of the content of the video or you just opening up your heart and just let me know hey you know I'm an empath or hey I'm a Hayoka and I'm going through this and this and that so you know I love to know what it what if you experienced or you know what has it brought you to today if it brought a positive impact on you I would love to know or even if the video just gave you a good vibe or you know you feel like hey you know my homegirl would like to hear this or my homeboy would like to hear this you know they're going through something right now they might need to hear it go ahead and give me a thumbs up like and even share on even even on your social media favorites or you know I hope you get something out of the content of my video and thank you so much for stopping by and the meditation music I'm listening to today is 417 Hertz stop bad vibes from the past trap negative energy and stop unwanted thoughts and patterns you know a lot of us need that because us empaths will overthink about some stuff real quick but today my video is about twin flame 101 hey okas the signs to know that you are on the right path you know so many people have been asking me lately i've been getting so many emails and so many responses you know, like rosalind how do you know when you're you know you're doing the right things how do you know um you know if i'm on the right path if i'm doing you know doing what i'm supposed to do you will get the vibes you will get synchronicities um, when I started knowing I'm on my right path, I don't know where my path is leading me. But, you know, we have our ups and downs. We have our mistakes, you know. Like I told people before, I struggle with, um, with my, my sobriety of marijuana. You know, it's just a lot. You know, dealing with something on the level I've dealt with, you have to have something just to get by and you know that's not a really good excuse but you know I've struggled with it you know if people have been riding with me for a while since day one they know I've been through a lot you know it's just like you know when I've talked to people on a personal level they, they would not be surprised you know they're actually shocked that that's all I'm on you know I was like no I ain't been on nothing you know more crazier than that but it, it brought me to my higher self it brought me to clearer thinking even though it's not the best way because that blocks your blessings it slows them down but it has brought a lot of clarity to my life it has brought me to my higher self to where I understood the things that I had to go through what was my purpose on bringing these videos out so when you're on your path you might struggle with addictions or I mean it doesn't even have to be just with a drug substance it could be with depression um how do you project yourself how do you feel about yourself how do you respond to things it, it, it can be anything that you have been so used to so it's just like when we go through our awakening we really don't understand from the beginning why we had to go through these tragic things but then when things start falling to our laps you know um people have told me they have they have lost loved ones they lost children um they went through you know uh just some kind of abuse or anything that was really tragic that impacted your life that you know normal people out in the world probably wouldn't have been able to handle it it, it can be really bad but um when you're on your right path you will start getting visions uh, you can have dreams about things, but it's just like when you starting getting, so you start going to your level of awakenings. There are sometimes you might not even remember your dreams. You could be going through your day to day basis, and um, <clears throat> excuse me, 
and just have visions of things that you have dreamt about. Like, hey, oh, you know, yeah, I did dream about that last night. Because our level of the sleep realm is just so high that, you know, at a normal level, you know, you might be able to dream, you know, you might remember your dreams or recall because it's just the best bet. It's just to keep a pamphlet by your bed or whatever, just to jot notes down, just in case it could be something that you might need to remember just on that day, you know, because it's like our higher selves gives us those omens and those warnings, you know, if we're, you know, if you're indulging in too much things, you know, overeating, drinking, you know, using a drug substance or just having a negative thought in your head that, you know, you can change that. You know, if you feel yourself being in a negative situation where you have these negative thoughts and you feel it reoccurring, you can change that. You can manifest to the point where you can take yourself to a beach or allow yourself to be playing with um, your animals or your children or your favorite thing to do. You know, they will allow you to do that. It's just like, hey, we need you to stay on this path. So you'll start getting more synchronicities. You will feel the shift. You will have this burst of excitement. There's times where, you know, we have been pushing out so much love and light. You might feel wiped out at the time, but you're able to rest and recoup and, you know, just go back and do what you need to do on your daily basis. But it's just the fact that, you know, when you're heading towards a blessing and being towards that better person, or trying to find that purpose in life to where you can contribute to the world as a positive impact. Or li just leave a mark towards others or just towards the world. You know, you will have these dreams. You will have these visions. You will find yourself daydreaming a lot. You might space out and be like, hey, is you, are you there? <laughs> are you there? It's like, is you there? Is you there? You know, you will have these things. So, you know, pay attention to the signs. Like I always tell you, you know, if you need to um, put a pamphlet by your bed or, you know, like a little notebook by your bed and just keep a little dream journal. Write down the things that you want in life and, you know, try to achieve them the best way you can because you can't sit up here and put it out to the universe. Hey, I want to do this. And you sit down here and wait for the universe to do that. No, they're not going to do that. And you're like, well, these things are not happening for me because such and such and such you have to be able to put in the work for these things you have to be able to work hard for them it's just like with me you know even though there's days that I'm tired like today I'm tired I've been you know pushing out so much love and light you know I've been asking answering a lot of questions and just you know um conversing with different empaths you know about the things that you do but that's a blessing you know it's not like I'm tired of talking to people it's just the fact is when I push out so much love to people because we need that you know I, I give that selflessly you know because I know what it feels like to be at rock bottom I know what it feels like for no one to care and you feel like you know you pushed out so much love to somebody and you know it can be towards other people and they don't do the same to you and you feel like you've been used so you know that's when you're supposed to step back and reevaluate the people that are in your lives you know are they bringing happiness to your life are they just constantly draining you are they bringing negative stuff to your life to where you know they 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 put shade on on your dreams you know do they support you you have to really think about all the things that you're going through when you're on this journey because it's like you know i've heard so many people you know saying they went through so many things with their family or people they've known for years or you know they just dropped out the face of the earth when they start going through things but it's okay when you do that because it's like i had so many people in my life that you know I've known for years you know probably about four or five years and then there's people I've known for like 20 you know almost my whole life that I just don't really know anymore because I'm not on that level not that I'm saying I'm better than them but I've awakened so it's just like if you're going through your things you'll be able to see the things that other people are going through and you might not be able to level up on them because you're on a different level and y'all y'all on different paths and, you know, and some people might look at you and might be worried about you, but that's okay. You know, that you, you're changing to this better person. You're being the person you were always, that was always there. You just didn't, you weren't on that same, it's like you were running a race with your own self. And it's like your higher self was way up here and already knew the path that you had to take just to get back to your higher self. So it's okay to go through the 
things you go through. If you have mishaps and slip ups or whatever, just don't make a habit out of it and just like, oh, I just had a mishap, well, I'll be able to make it up the next day. You can't keep, you know, relying on that because it's just like the universe is going to think that, okay, you're, you're, you're going to keep going around this revolving door. You're going to keep going through the things you're going through because you're not learning the lesson. Even though you're learning the lesson, you just don't want to accept the things that you're going through. You know, don't want to see the truth. But if you're going through your journey and you see the things that you're seeing and you're studying up on the things that you need to know about the new gift that you have. Well, actually, it's not a new gift, but the new gift that is knowledge to you. You know, study up on the things, you know, pay attention to your spirit guides and to your animal totems. You know, it's like you could see a, a, a cat outside or even a spider or, you know, a fly or something could have hit you. It, you need to read up on them things because they're not coming to you for, you know, just for accidents or coincidence. You need to know what what messages are coming towards you because your, your signs come in each and every direction. So pay attention to the things that the universe is sending to you. So I hope you were able to get something out of this message. I hope you had a blessed week. It's almost Friday. Well, yeah, it should be Friday by the time you get this video. I forgot what day it is. So, um, I just, you know, I've been just staying busy. So I just don't worry about the days anymore. I just, you know, okay, another day is another mission. So I hope you were able to get something out of this video. I hope you stay blessed and prosperous and know you're highly favored. And know that you are truly loved and know there's always somebody praying out there for your better day so now as much love and light as possible and you know so you see somebody is down or you're down you know the best thing you can do is just help raise it up you know or help somebody out just in a good way it makes you feel better when you're down so i will see you on my next video like and subscribe you can hit that notification bell so you know when i'm about to upload my next video drop me a line i love to get the chance to know you as much as you're getting to know me or just let me know what's going on with you and your empathic situation and i will see you on my next video i hope everybody stays blessed stay safe and talk to you later peace and be wild